Hey, book community. So believe it or not, I've never done a book haul video. So I thought it was time to do that. But this book haul video isn't going to be uh, the books that I've gotten really over the past week or even month. This is going to be over the past few months. So there's going to be several to do here. Maybe I can start adding this to my videos after this. But So we're going to have a few... Um, uh, a good bit of ones to go over so let's go let's get started first of all this and, and also I want to say some of these books I really don't know much about uh, of course I haven't read any of them yet uh, since they are book haul books so uh, but this is Hyperion by Dan Simmons I've heard a lot of good about a lot of good about it it um, is a sci-fi book uh, I think there's multiple stories within it from what I hear uh, they, I'm told that this is really one of the uh, classic sci-fis, uh, so I've been excited about reading that. Some of these books I've got off of Pango Books, some of these books I've got off of Amazon, and some of them I got out of a, out of a used bookstore. So anyway, uh, this one I believe probably came from Amazon, I really don't remember. But excited about reading Hyperion, I heard a, a lot about it. Next is uh, The Dragon Bone Chair by Tad Williams. This is a book that I'm actually going to be buddy reading with somebody in August, I believe is when I'll be doing it. Uh, again, I've heard a lot of good about this. Uh, Patrick from uh, his YouTube channel uh, has talked about it, and I believe it was one of his five-star reads. Uh, so I look forward to reading uh, The the Dragon Bone Chair. I, ha I, have, I know absolutely nothing about this book. I don't know the story. I don't know the characters. I know nothing. So excited about getting into that. Next is a book that I've, I've actually started reading another copy that I have of it in the past, but I haven't got very far. It is The Once and Future King. Don't you love these stickers? Uh, it came from a used bookstore. Anyway, The Once and Future King by T.H. White. This was actually one of my dad's favorite books. He loved Arthurian legends and Arthurian books. Uh, I have recently got into some Arthurian books by the Warlord Chronicles. So hopefully, uh, maybe we can read this classic uh, coming up at some point and, and just see what he loves so much about it. Next is Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Now, I'm one of those who I, I didn't even know up until really I, just before I started a booktube channel that Jurassic Park was a book, uh, that the movie came from a book. I thought it was just a movie. I didn't realize there was a book that went along with it. And then I've learned about Michael Crichton. Uh, so anyway, I'm excited about hopefully getting to this one day. I know that Mike from Mike's Books, uh, Mike's Book Reviews talks about this a lot. Uh, Sci-fi, um, techno thriller, I believe, uh, some of the things he writes. But that'll be exciting to get to one day. This is another book that I picked up in the in a used bookstore that I was at uh, recently. This is Ship of Magic. Now, when I bought this, my wife asked me, she said, why do you need a Ship of Magic when well, you already have the Ship of Magic book? I said, yeah, but I don't have a hardback. I have a paperback. So anyway, uh, book collector's problems, right? Anyway, so this is it was an exciting yet. Now, now, I saw that I think this may be a first edition, at least a very early edition. Uh, so excited about that. I enjoyed uh, reading Ship of Magic, and I, I actually next, hopefully, next month I'll get into Mad Ship. The next books, these are actually signed copies of The Seasons of Albedon. I'll show you this. The author, Seasons of Albedon, and a Contract in Soul Forn. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but these are two books in that series. Uh, very excited to get that. I uh, don't know when I'll be able to get to it, but hopefully soon. This next book is something that uh, kind of a book tube and book talk, sen talk sensation, uh, The Sword of Kaigen. Now I believe this is a, uh, a self-pub or was a self-pub. Maybe it got picked up by a uh, traditional publisher, but anyway, th this was one. This is one that I've heard so much about. Uh, I haven't heard one negative thing about the Sword of Kagan, uh, and I'll be glad to get to that at some point. I put a I, I, I did a video here a while back talking about how I've started reading some Blake Crouch. So here is more Blake Crouch. Desert Places. Uh, it's a nice hardback ver a version of that. I also picked this up at a used bookstore and run. Um, 
Theo, I believe, I heard him talk about this uh, this book, and he had a lot of good to say about it, so that will be exciting. In fact, I think this will probably be my next Blake Crouch read. Next of all, uh, next up is My Heart is a Chainsaw. Um, I asked on Twitter a while back what some recommendations for spooky books for spooky season or scary books for spooky season coming up would be, and this was one that I heard about, so I picked it up. My Heart is a Chainsaw. Now, I don't know anything about it. My Heart is a Chainsaw. That almost sounds like there may be romance in it. Hope not too much if there is, but I don't know what it's about. So, uh, I did come highly recommended. And I look forward to getting into that. This will be one of the books I read in October. The next book is also a book I'm going to be buddy reading with somebody here in, I believe in July, uh, Sinlin Ascends. Uh, if, you've, uh, if you keep up with uh, Alan uh, from the Library of Alexandria, you, you've heard him talk about this. You've heard him talk about uh, Josiah Bancroft. Uh, I've wanted to get to this for some time. In fact, well before I started a booktube channel, I, w I was hearing about this series, and I've just never gotten to it. Uh, so it will be good to finally see what all the hype is about with Sinlin Ascends. And next up is Rebel. This is a this is not a book like I would normally get. It's a, a Civil War fiction book, but it's by Bernard Cornwell. And so if it's, since it's by Bernard Cornwell, this was just this past weekend, I was in a used bookstore and I saw it and I said, well, it's by Bernard Cornwell, so I may as well get it. Again, a nice hardback copy of it. Uh, I'm loving the Warlord Chronicles and I feel like I may love anything he, re he writes. And then lastly, as far as these physical copies go, physical books go, is Stephen King, the Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I know Mike just recently read this for Mike's book reviews, and he, I think it was a reread. I've never read it. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of working through my first time through Stephen King's books. Uh, I thought this was a, maybe a nice short one that I can uh, add on the list real quick and maybe uh, get through it quickly. So anyway, that's my physical books. I also have some uh, e-books uh, for my Kindle that I um, have picked up. Most of them are free. Uh, uh, well, I know that right now during this time uh, when a lot of um, indie authors are being really uh, put forward that they're offering a lot of their books for free or very, very uh, much uh, discounted. And so I picked up several of those. So I'll show those now. Well, thank you for uh, spending a little bit of time with me. Um, until next time, go read books.